Oh, what do you do? Oh, hang you on, wait, oh, hang on. Right. Push with me. Ooh, One, two, three. Oh, okay. I don't know what to do, so I'm doing it now. Let's make it the biggest one yet. When I say go. I'm the band's tour manager, and so I get all the fun jobs like going and picking the very fancy red wines that Joe and Sam like to drink. Rock and roll! So we usually get a couple of bags of crisps. A couple of bags of nuts, a bit of fruit to balance it all out. Shelf. 15, 20 quid a bottle. Um, that's that's what they always pick. Uh, hello guys, we're in Guildford, uh, the Spectrum Centre. Let's go and have a look. Oh, we just finished at the Spectrum, had a great day, the lads skated, we bowled, now it's off to the gig. Sam and Joe like to pick their own wine. Unfortunately, Sam got ID'd in Tesco's the other night. Joe then went to, back into the supermarket to buy the exact same thing, but he was accused of buying alcohol for a minor. They had to do the walk of shame back to the venue, empty-handed. So now I just go and get it. <laughs> it makes it a bit easier. It's not that bad. It's, it's, it's a gash, but 
It's all right. I thought when you come in and you had the wine on your shirt and you said you'd slice yourself, I thought you'd just like drop the wine. Yeah, I thought it was like yeah, a, like I a thought full you're just messing about. To context what happened to Joe, so this yeah. is a reconstruction. Um, this is a wine bottle. So there's a way of opening a wine bottle if you don't have a bottle opener. Um, put the wine bottle in and you slam it against a wall. And through the power, through the shoe, eventually the cork comes out. So Joe did that. Bam. Bam. Kablamo. Wine bottle smashes right into his tendon. I couldn't find a corkscrew. Decided to be clever. Open a bottle of wine in my shoe. Smashed, and now we're in hospital. Gigs in two and a half hours. We'll see how this pans out. I met again, this is here, so uh, put it in the shoe and wanged it on the board. And instead of it opening the wine, it shot a shard of glass. Me and Charlie over here are having to learn a couple of songs so that the boys can complete the set. Yeah. I cut the tendon. Don't know, but I can see your tendon moving, so it's going to need inspection and things like that. So. Index. Um... The boys, you see what they can do. No. Oh. to London. Plastic surgeon's going to take the glasses out of my hand that's in there and then stitch it up and then we'll see whether or not there's a show. But apparently it just, it, you don't need me. Like, I'm, I'm just going to watch. Right, anyway, I'm done. Tonight's finished. Today we're heading towards Tunbridge Wells for another rock and roll show. Um, it's the last one of this week's tour. Pretty excited. That actually does real yeah. poos. She does real poos. Really? Yeah, look. You give it food. Yeah. Take it for a walk. Poos on the floor. My, my little brother. <laughs> it's like, remember when we used to be in summer? Yeah. yeah it's good, isn't it? Yeah. I love you! Fuck off. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello, is it the villain Swerg? Yes, hello. Yeah, hi, I've got a table for Swerg's. Hello? Hello, gentlemen's leg. Yeah, hi, have you got a table for sex people? Uh, no, we don't. We lost a little bit of a ceiling, unfortunately. Fully? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, table for five. Hello, I'm fully booked. I'm really sorry. Right. Table. <laughs> I lost it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah.
seen a lot about circuit waves on tour. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, you know, it is always this exciting. I must admit. Um, I hope you can come and see a show one day. If you saw this tour, well done. If you didn't, there'll be many more. Okay. It's in the lap. Okay. Yeah.